Welcome back to What RT Noobs with General Disturbance. Now this is a Bacchettini on 155.55, the tier 9 French SPG, and it's on the north spawn of Prokhorovka. Now I happen to know that this is the first battle that this particular player has played in the 155.55, um, so I'll be very interested to see how he gets on. And his name is Kento. Yes, you've seen him before and you've seen him in other vehicles. So let's see how he gets on in his first battle in his 155.55. Now, as many of you know, the uh, Bacchettini on 155.55 was a prototype that was actually built on top of the uh, Lorraine 40T chassis. Um, it actually ended the uh, proposed um, RTs that were being built, the Lorraine 155 50 and 51s. Um, but they built it on a revolving turret, 155mm howitzer, uh, but it was a single shot. It wasn't a multi shot like the 155 It didn't have a magazine. Now, Kento's decided he's going to set up in that particular position there and he's just turning his turret round. Now he can do that on this particular RT, he could just uh, plonk his RT everywhere he likes and just turn the turret to match the target. And the turret is turning at this moment. There it is, the reticules come round, the guns match the aim point and he's fired a leopard prototype. Long flight but he managed to get a hit, splash it, 284 hit points, two critical hits. And that leopard prototype is backing away, but he's still getting a request for fire on him. But instead he's decided to go for this KV-5. He's actually rather much slower, much easier to hit. Almost ready to go, round out. It's going to fall behind, yes it did. Now the good thing about the uh, French Arties from uh, tier 7 upwards is they have a fairly good reload time. And they're fairly accurate. The only problem is they just lack the punch. Okay, we've got one of those mail breakers there. It says Ein Berlin on it. It's got a bicycle on the back, would you believe it? I suppose that's, that's when they run out of fuel. Okay, 297 hit points. That shot went into the rear of the turret. So uh, I think that may have damaged uh, maybe the Amorak. It uh, may have damaged one of the crew members. SDRB S1 sitting on top of the hill in the siege mode. So he's going to be very vulnerable because he's going to have to change to travel mode to, to move. And that round goes in and yes, it's a direct hit. No explosion, direct hit. Okay, meanwhile, further up at the front, we've got a T-54 Mod 1 and an E-75. And they're facing off against uh, Kento's team. And it's almost reloaded. Great thing about this RT, it does reload fairly quickly. Doesn't do a lot of damage, but it does reload fast. Rounds out on T-54. Direct hit right on the rear. 273 hit points. Four critical hits. Probably took out his engine. Okay, there's the E-75. He's taken a lot of damage, and he's gone down. There's the SDRV. He's moved up. He's still in siege mode. And Kento's almost reloaded. Yep, you know what that means. He's going to get a direct hit. Rounds out now. Oh, it fell behind. That's RNG for you. It stunned him. And he's gone out of siege mode. Now he's back in siege mode again. He's only got 20 hit points left. Next shot will be the end of that STRV. Yes, it is. <laughs> and he's out the game. Okay, we've got the mound breaker and T49 poking the ridge line on the center line. Okay, the mound breaker is going to be an easier target. It's a huge lump of metal. And that's a big hit right on the front turret. Looked like it hit the commander's area. If it didn't take out the commander, it probably took out the loader. He's now got a massive stun. Only 77 hit points, so he's going to be out of the game next hit. The T-49, though, has been tracked. He's stationary. The Malbrek is coming forward again. Now, he will get killed if he does that. Round out. Oh, that was, that was just too far away. It was trying to anticipate that the Malbreaker would keep moving forward, he didn't. So Kento's changing his aim, he's going to go back to the hill. T-54 Mod 1 is going to get the first shell, I think. He's using the bushes, trying to use his bushcraft, but he has been spotted. And he's out the game! T-59. Okay, Hype 59 on top of the hill. Rounds out. 
and that splashes him. Two critical hits and some stun, and he's receiving stun assist now. That 59's backing off. He's hurt. And there's Tiger 2. And he's full health. How did he manage to get up there, full health, and not get shot at? Okay, well, Kento's going to rectify that in a second. Ready, round out. Direct him right into the side. Look at that. 220 hit points of damage there. In fact, actually, he lost something like 853, I think, in that shot. But it's actually only showing us 220. Okay, SDRB is retreating there. I think that was an SDRB. And another direct hit, 294. And he was taken out immediately afterwards. So it appears that Kento farmed all the health on that, uh, that Tiger 2. Brilliant work. Okay, Type 49's gone down into the dip. And he must realise he can't get out of that dip that way. He has to go the opposite way. He's going to try and climb up. He's very, very silly. Round out on the leopard prototype. Splash kill. 164 hit points. Good shot. K KV5's going for the cap. He's getting hit in the process. And I'm afraid Kento's still not reloaded. Now the enemy arty has been spotted. It's an M5355. He's on the other side of the railway line. He's going to be an easy shot. There's an AMX1390 the other side. And Kento's lining him up. Getting ready for it. Rounds out. Oh, no, he pulled forward. But he still gets the kill. 450 hit points. That's his second kill of the game. T49 on the enemy side is now out of the dip. And he's motoring towards the railway line as quickly as he can. Meanwhile, up on the hill, we've got an SDRV 103. And he's, I think, in siege mode as well. And this is a perfect target for uh, Kento. Round out. Direct shot into him. Took, a, took away, wow, well, took away 284, and he's been taken out of the game, so he farmed the rest of the uh, health as well, and that's the end of the battle. Wow. Very, very efficient. This Remember, this is this is Kento's first battle in the bat chat 155-55, so let's have a look at the end of battle stats. It's an ace tanker on his first battle. <laughs> Would you believe it? He's got an ace. The first time he played it, Kento has got an ace. Wow, he's mastered the tank with one game. He got a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. He got 11. And he gets a confederate medal for hitting more of the enemy than anyone else in his team. At least six tanks that were subsequently destroyed by other members of the team. And you can see them there. Oh, wow. Ace tank on your first battle. What a... That's a bit of an anticlimax, I suppose, in a way. <laughs> he hasn't got to work his way to the top. He's already at the top. Okay, let's have a look at the damage. Well, he came second on damage, 2,741 hit points. The T-34 did 3,500, so he was working a lot of the uh, enemy tanks. But he didn't get any kills, whereas Kento managed to get two. And that puts him joint second with two kills. Uh, the Again, it was the um, Scorpion who managed to get top kill uh, with three. And when it came to base XP, well, he was third. Uh, with 1,053, but that was still enough for him to get an ace tanker. Uh, and, of course, he got the Confederate medal as well on top of that. He fired 14 rounds, got 8 direct hits, 8 penetrations, shows the accuracy of that French gun. 5 splash ga damage, did damage to 2,741 hit points, all at more than 300 meters. He damaged 8 of the enemy, but killed 2 of them. He also did damage assistance of 240 hit points, and stun assistance of 2,455 hit points. I think most of those were on that SDRV, which was sitting on top of the hill, which after he hit them, other people hit them. And of course, uh, obviously, not to mention the Tiger 2, which he hit once, and then everybody else piled in and, and took it out. Um, he caused 11 stuns in total on a premium account he earned 49,162 credits and he had a personal reserves bonus going of 12,291 and he had the holiday ops bonus as well so he had a grand total of 85,052 credits and even after the ammunition resupply he still had 69,372 credits spare now that's a very good money earner he received 1,580 experience points, but it was times two, and he had personal reserves bonus and the holy ops bonus as well, which means he took home a whopping 5,498 experience points in total. Now, I would love to know if uh, 
um, if Kento actually did swap out the crews on one of his other French arties and put his top crew into that uh, back chat. But if he did, my God, he did well to get the ace tank. It really is a good result indeed. But I'd love to see what happens now when he gets the back chat 155.58. I think the enemy is going to suffer considerably. So well done there, Kento. Nice replay. Thanks for sending it in. If you enjoyed this replay, please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel. And hopefully it'll be your replay I'll be featuring in our next video.